according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. The word foundation, I believe, is the word overthrow. I think verse 4 of Genesis of Ephesians 1 refers to to the period of time preceding Genesis 1-2. I believe that Ephesians 1-3, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies in Christ already refers to the period of Genesis 1-1. And the Greek word is spelled K-A-T-A B-O-L long E. How do you pronounce it? Okay. Let me see how many questions we got left. I'll just give you the scriptures and you can look them up because we got lots of questions left yet. <laughs> just about coffee time, I think, or something. Uh, I'll do them as quickly as I can for you, but I'll give you a scripture. 2 Corinthians 4, 9. Revelation 12, 10. First Peter 1, 19 and 20. And John 17, 24. So, God chose us in him before the overthrow. And the overthrow is Genesis, record of that overthrow is in Genesis 1, 2. And if he chose us before the overthrow, he must have chosen us sometime after Genesis 1, 1, when in the beginning God created the heavens and earth, sometime at that time and before Genesis 1, 2 is when he chose us. And this word can be traced all through the word and it will fit like this. Next question. Please explain Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Well, you got a little problem here because in 1 John, the epistle, it says, God is light and in him there is no what? Darkness. Now, the, the, problem, the problem is mostly man-made. The major reason is man doesn't want to understand God's word and doesn't want to put it together, he definitely wants to make God, the true God, the author of all the bad stuff that goes on. He can't do it, not and get the word to fit. And the word is God's will. God is a God of light. In the beginning, God created. Like we had the question on how evil could come. Remember earlier tonight, because these angels had freedom of what? So God, in that sense, that sense, he created good and what? Evil. Only in the sense that man's choice, or like in re earlier, the spirit's choice was to get evil going. That's the only way. In that original creation, everything there had the possibility for good or for what? And that's why I form light, create what? I make peace, create evil. I, the Lord, do all these what? Things. That's the sense of it. All right, next question. Will you <clears throat> please explain Jonah 4, verses 6 through 11? Jonah, Jonah. Oh, that's that gourd thing. 
Jonah 4, 6. And the Lord God prepared a gourd <laughs> and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceedingly glad of the gourd. But God prepared a worm. Uh, really, this thing's beautiful. Uh, first of all, God didn't prepare anything like it. See? It's, God didn't specifically prepare the gourd and then prepare the worm, but... Oh, Jonah sat himself down, and wherever he sat himself down, that seed had already been there, and that little old worm was already crawling toward it. But God gets the praise for it, because Jonah's the one that was tripped out. He'd been running off, you know, all the way along, even though fish had to swallow him, spit him out to get him to go halfway decent. <laughs> God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass when the sun did arise that God prepared a vehement east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah, <laughs> that he fainted and wished it himself to die, and said, It's better for me to die than to what? Sure. And God said to Jonah, Dost thou well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored, neither made sits grow, which came up in the night and perished in the night. See? Then why, as God, should not I spare Nineveh, that great city? What he's doing is getting back to the brain cell of old Jonah and saying, Look, you got tickled to death sitting under the gourd, then you got mad when the worm ate it up. <laughs> then when the sun hit you, you got real teed off. Well, if you can do that and all the rest of it, why can't I spare the city of Nineveh, the great city? Okay, next question. <laughs> Explain Daniel 3.25. Explain the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. How oh. could he know what he would be like? Okay, okay. 325, this is when Nebuchadnezzar got the shock treatment. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the fourth, and the form of the fourth, is like the Son of whom? Amen. And the Son of God here is angel, because the angels are also called sons of God, because in the original creation, God created angels. That's why they're referred to as a son of God. And this Son of God was not the Lord Jesus Christ. This Son of God was an angel who was in the midst of that fire that had protected those three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Next question. What are the three kinds of wisdom in James 3.15? Earthly, sensual, devilish. Please explain. All right. Earthly, sensual, and devilish. Earthly wisdom is wisdom that you have on this earth. It's terrestrial type of wisdom. Sensual wisdom, sensual wisdom is naturally natural wisdom. And the only place you can have this natural wisdom here now is upon earth. And it says devilish, and the word devilish is simply the adjective of the word devil. And therefore, the wisdom that is earthly upon this earth, if man has this type of wisdom, it's natural wisdom, and that wisdom will be the adjective of the devil, which makes it devilish. I think all of us have experienced that sufficiently to know the answer to that. Next question. When a woman has a menstrual period, is this a cleansing of the body? I observe that Israelite women had to make a sin and a burnt offering each time. Is it possible that menstrual periods are not normal for a woman who has eaten the proper foods? 
and is physically clean and healthy on the inside. No, that is not. A menstrual period is just the egg disgusted. That's all. 